We think that the most important parameter for determining metabolic health is energy balance. Even the quote unquote best diet, if it's in excess of energy balance, will produce poor metabolic health. Regardless of what you think the best diet is, if you think it's a keto diet or a paleo diet or a low carb diet or a Mediterranean diet or a vegan diet, take any version of those and consume them to excess to the point where you are no longer in energy balance and you are accumulating adipose tissue that leaks out of the subcutaneous space and gets into the liver, gets into the viscera, you're going to be unhealthy. I always think people are majoring in the minor and minoring in the major on nutrition when they start to fight in dietary tribes on this stuff. Ultimately, it matters most that you can find something that is manageable and sustainable over the long haul. None of this matters if you can adhere to the perfect diet for three months and then you can't. It's better to have a seven out of 10 diet in terms of quality and perfection that you can sustain indefinitely than a 10 out of 10 diet that you can only sustain for three or six 